here, fall. I have it. Fish, this is a Y. Big Y. Fresh Y. What's going on, everybody? We're down here at Big Fish Outfitters in, well, kind of Lenore City, Tennessee. And we're planning on doing some walleye fishing today, me and two other buddies. We're gonna load up on some shiners and some minnows here and then head down to Chickamauga Lake to walleye fish. What's going on guys? This is Mark Cooper with Top Knox Fishing. William and I just got back from an Arizona hunting trip for a week and there were some good conditions and time of year for walleye fishing. So we're gonna come out here to the Clinch River in Tennessee, try to catch some walleye and sauger. We may catch a couple perch and may accidentally hook a muskie, we'll see but we're gonna be using some bucktail jigs with some shiners, and we've got some crankbaits for trolling, and we'll just see what we get into. All right, so we jigged all the way down this current seam, got to the bottom end of it, and now we're using some deep diving crankbaits called Shatter Apps, the size seven, the uh, floating version to troll back up the current seam. Basically what we're doing here, we're trying to pick up the active fish uh, that we didn't hit on the jig pass. And this gives you a different speed presentation than what you have when you're jigging. And that's what you really want to break down is the depth at which they're at and then the speed at which you need to present your lures to uh, catch the fish in general. So, Bo can show you the, uh, the crankbait style we're using down there. We'll even pick it up there. Just a two or three inch little crankbait with a, a deep diving bill. We're trying to take it along the bottom on the rocks because the, active, the walleye probably aren't super high up in the water column, so we're trying to keep it down near the bottom. And then speed-wise, I'm keeping this at 1.5 to 2.5, just somewhere in there, trying to see what they want. So hopefully we get one. We're gonna slip sideways. Let me get one of these yeah. deadens. Dealing at the counter right now. Spot. This is the spot. I hope so. That's how you hook them with that trailer hook rig. All right, so we're walleye fishing, jigging these guys with some minnows tipped. Right on this current seam, you can see it right, right up there. See if we can't pop another couple walleye. Very easy, you just drop it down the bottle with these Sagar and walleye jigs. They make them pre-made, you can buy them online or at your tackle shop or whatever. These are about an ounce to three quarter ounce. Just bump it down the bottom while I spawn at the low 50 degree water temp, high 40s or start to. So this is just the beginning of it. These are males up here, not the big females yet. So we are catching us up some fish tacos. As you saw earlier, we tried trolling and stuff for them, but they just don't want anything other than the jig right now, it seems. When you feel it hit, just pop it up about two or three feet and then follow it down. Don't let it go slack. This one? Minor. Yep. <laughs> They've been doing that all day. They are active right now.
Just came up on a flat here, feels like. Bottom. All right, guys, so we're out here walleye fishing. We're vertical jigging and trolling. We just about had a double on walleye, but um, William got this really nice one. Let's see him. Here, I'm pulling the jig. Yeah. Show, show us what you're using there. Yeah, and so explain we it. got these uh, jigs from Bo's granddad. They're just a little one ounce hair jig with a little stinger on the back. And then that was tipped. And this shiner was already dead before we caught him, but uh, let's see that fish, buddy. Nice walleye. Very nice walleye. Hold him up. It's hmm. a good looking fish there, bud. Some fish tacos. Woo, boy. I then Bo it. lost one. Whoa. I know. Uh, literally just right now. He <laughs> lost it. Put it on the bug board and see what the measure it is. Yeah. I bet I he's 23. I was about to say 23 as well. 23 inches. I think with the tail pinch, he'd be 24. 23 inches of fish taco. Uh, 21. 21? 21. 21. Pull your hands up. Man. Not bad. Not a bad start. Way to go, sir. Breaking the ice. Yep. All righty, guys. Just got deeper right there. I bet that's where we're catching them. It's right here. It just got four feet deeper. Snagged up in this. Oh, that's a big walleye. Big walleye. Got him. Ooh, that's a good one, buddy. That's awesome. Ha ha ha. Heck yeah, dude. Ooh, boy. That's a big old boy. Dude, I thought I was home. Heck yeah. Not even gonna lie. That pulled drag. Yeah, I saw that. Nice walleye, my dude. Woo -hoo. Probably put some water in the live well now. Did he hit it pretty hard? Uh, yeah, honestly, he hit it pretty darn hard, yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. That's like, I don't remember any of the other ones having teeth like that. That's a nice eye. Oh, this treble hook, honestly, I think that treble hook was, was the deal breaker there. Look at that. Nice eye, my dude. Gorgeous fish. Let's see it, hold up. Oh yeah. That's big, a big black spot, big white spot. There's the color. Nice. I love the golden color they have on them. That's a good fish. I'm proud of that. The one yesterday was like, or the one the other day was like, hey, it's my first one. Well, I got snagged. Nice. This one is only an inch longer than the one the other day. But it's way thicker. It's, way, it's like it's bigger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to figure that out. What's up, guys? A couple of big old boys. What are you going on? My minnow just slipped off. I slipped sideways. We'd be kind of wearing them out. Okay. I won't go that far down. That's a fish. That's a good fish. Here, it is. Oh, that was a walleye. That was a good walleye. 
Oof, no. I would be screaming. I know. Fish? No. Thing just got turned sideways. Fish. Oh, that's a good fish. I kind of think he's a fish. Yep. Dang it! Get it, get it in the, the hook. I'm eating that fish. Get it in. He's hooked. Though. He's just not cooperating. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> Not walleye, but a fun fish. And it'll eat. It'll eat. It'll eat. Catching deers. Didn't go 20. I just got hit by something. Maybe been a catfish too. Hey, we started giving us a fish now. Yep. You hit? No, I got home. I wonder if that was a giant wall I hooked over there in that eddy. I want to cry. It's possible, but with the slime, I mean, it's also very possible it was just a catfish. Yeah. I hope it was just a catfish. <laughs> that would really, that was a, that would have been a 10 or 12 pound fish. <laughs> it was zipping line. It wasn't zipping anything. You had the freaking stuff yeah. all the way down. I mean, it, it should have been zipping line. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised the the line didn't break. Honestly, I just got hit right there. Yeah. It took up the entire lake. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I took a picture of it and it doesn't look like it's that big of a fish because you can't really tell how big that tub is. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be something lurking around the circle in this there. Yeah. So they I have a fish. Is about nineteen inches. Yeah, nineteen. What a nice small mouth. Here, get one more picture. Fingers are working slow. Release this guy. Really good color on it. Nice. You guys earlier. It was a pretty tough situation. Me was annoyed. Be stupid caveman animals. Use the dead shiner. Ooga booga William noises. Yep. Ooga booga angry William noises. How did those all get put out right there? Me. Why? Because they were all dead. 
<laughs> like for reals. You're not you're not looking for like most I don't know how to hook hook that one again. Just put flesh on. I I bit the head off on mine and then hooked him through the butthole. On the one I've got on right now. A lot of people don't just pinch the heads off and just stick the head on the finger hook. Man, the bank days made me a better angler, but I do not miss them. <laughs> I am with you. I don't know. It was kind of fun, like having a hike down into some place that we didn't know we'd never been before. Carry all the gear, fall. Talk to people. I haven't. Fish. This is a why. This is I got it. Just keep it underwater. Keep it underwater. Me. He's. That looks like a camel. It is a Y. That is not. That is. That's a, a sauger. sauger. That's a big sauger. That's a good size sauger. That's a keeper. Uh, yeah. What 15, are they? Fifteen inches. That's definitely fifteen. Are you nice. I haven't seen a sauger in so long. Heck yeah. I love sauger. Throw him on the bump board just to see. Yeah. Him. Loved it. And if he's not, take a bunch of pictures of it. That's good to see. I love Sarge so much. Man, he swallowed that to the butthole. Oh yeah, he's 16, 16 and a half. That's yeah, bigger than your wallet. <laughs> no, it's not. That's My wallet. Oh, the, yeah, the smaller one. I need a plier, or he's going to cut me up. But where's the bunk? The how, bunk? how did you feel that thing was on? Because I saw you had to actually set the hook on that. I felt him eat it and he was like chewing on it. Huh. And then I just let him eat it for a second and then set it. I feel like I felt that a couple times and just didn't set it right. I think we gotten far enough down. Oh, we went all the way Bro, down. We got the sauger further down than this. Really? I yeah. lost that one. Those are geese. He's got something on. Those are geese. The yeah, ones, those are geese. Yeah. The ones up those high are like, aren't. There's more of those up high. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's not seagulls. It might be cormorants. But the wing That's a, was, is that a little baby walleye? Yeah. Yeah, because those are geese. You can see. Yeah, the those are geese. Everything. But those are not cormorants. Cormorants beat their wings faster. Yeah. Well, before it gets dark, it looks like we caught some good walleye in there. We're gonna try to get a few more, fry them up tomorrow or later. But it's gonna be too dark to see out of this GoPro here in a second. So we'll catch you later. We'll do a catch and cook with walleye. All right, so you guys saw where we caught all those walleye the other day, or yesterday. Now we're doing a little catch and cook. This is Bo. Up. This is William. You guys know him already. We're all college buddies. All right, explain to us what we're doing here. So we're frying up the walleye. Now they're already in the pan. That was with breadcrumbs, but ran out of breadcrumbs. So now we're using cornmeal and just frying them in a shallow pan. How'd you? Uh, did you fillet them or what'd you do? Yes, yeah, so we filleted them last night and. Um, Put them in bags in the refrigerator until tonight. Um, just standard fillet, and then cut them into basically these these chunks. Some of them will get turned into uh, like fish tacos, and other ones will just eat. eat whole. Yep. Cool. What are you doing, William? I just made guacamole. Nice. Uh, nothing fancy. Guacamole and walleye sounds like a plan. What we've got here is a flour dredge and then an egg wash. Whenever you're frying fish, you take the fish and put it in, or frying anything in general, you take the, 
the, the meat and put it in the flour and then put it in the egg wash and then you roll it in the breadcrumbs or whatever else you're going to do. And then you fry it. And it looks like that. This is channel catfish now. And what do you got in there, Bo? Uh, so it's just cornmeal with some, I mean, just had some Cajun seasoning there. And I'm just mixing it all together. You did not, sip. didn't dredge this one. I'm just going to see how it works. Add a little more cornmeal. You can do pretty simple stuff when you get fresh ingredients. It already tastes good. You know, it just fell apart there. So when the fish starts flaking, you know it's done. And walleye is a super flaky fish. So these must have been with the breadcrumbs. Right, the starter ones with the breadcrumbs. And these are with the cornstarch. Let's we'll see which yeah. one tastes better. Meal, cornmeal. Gotta have the cast iron when you're doing this too. When you're making tacos, gotta fry the tortillas a little bit to get them crunchy. Or a little crunchy on the outside, still soft on the inside. William here's gonna construct our fish taco. Yeah, it's just boring. You take the fried flour or corn tortilla, then you take your fish and just on it, and you make sure that it's a little bit uh, foldable. And you take whatever sauces or anything you want on it. So I'll take some uh, guac, for example, on this one. Get a little bit of guac. I don't think we have any lettuce handy. Lettuce would be really good, just shredded lettuce. And then I'll do some some of the salsa verde. Okay. Yep. That's Alrighty. it. I mean, you can add goat cheese and other stuff, but... So really, really two or three things is about all you want. All right, we're gonna do a little taste test here on the walleye taco. Get out there and catch you some. <laughs> 